Hello. Hi. You can call me Arts. I'm a music producer. And this is my first long form YouTube video. I've always wanted to make long form, but for some reason was always afraid. I don't know why. But here I am. Let's try this. Give me some love, subscribe, do whatever the YouTube stuff supposed to do. Today's topic. So I read Make Your Own Rules by Andrew Huang. By read, I mean I listened to it. And I got some things to say because it inspired a lot of things, got me thinking about a lot of things, contemplated about a lot of things with what I've been doing and uh, where I can go from here. And I think every artist should think about these things in order to find what really defines them and uh, what type of content should you post as an artist what kind of things you should pursue so you don't fall into this trap and feel depressed and not identify with who you really are as a content creator and a music producer i've been posting every single day for about a year and a half now and i've come to places where i didn't feel authentic i didn't feel like i was making a video because I truly want it. Uh, maybe because money was involved. Maybe there is a trend that I was following. So I was one of those people who would make content to get clout, if you will. Andrew's book really helped me think about certain things, which we will go over in this video. He raised a very good topic that I just like to discuss. And um, it's just been something on my mind. So sit down, grab a drink, whatever you're drinking, and let's talk a little bit. So first things first, what I got out of Andrew's book is that you gotta be authentic. And he tells a story of his past, of his childhood, how he grew up, how he got into music, how he started making custom beats for people for people on eBay. Um, people would literally pay him and give him an idea and give him a thing that they wanted to hear. Most of the time it was for birthday parties or special songs for events or certain people and he would cater those songs to them and people would bid on ebay that was before social media before instagram and youtube and um that was his path but then as he started growing as he started growing his channel on youtube he talks about things that came his way uh things that he had to think about things that he had to decide things like feeling stuck when having to make content because a company is offering him 50 grand which is life-changing for somebody but he would not feel good making the video so he would have to make the choice and every choice that he would make in this situation would be wrong not accepting 50 grand kind of wrong but accepting it and making a video you don't want and spending a few days on designing and doing all that stuff can take away from your soul how do you find authentic self how do you live in this world of social media and wanting to hop on trends to get more followers but then getting away from the music that you enjoy or doing things that you actually enjoy. So I have made videos for companies that paid me money, even if I didn't like the actual product or the product that I've just used for that video and stopped using it ever after. The money was good, I needed money, we're all human, we need to survive, pay bills, and that money would allow me to buy something I actually want. So spending an evening editing a video, you know, might not be authentic to me, but it did help me get something that I did want. And of course, doing that long term doing that over and over again choosing something else over your craft can ruin you as an artist it's really important to consider whatever you're going whether it doesn't matter whether it's music or any type of art you're creating it's really important to recognize what type of channel you want to be what do you want to promote to be honest after reading andrew's book i there was times where i was a little sad i would be listening to the book driving and kind of contemplating my own channel i mean i try to do a variety of things there's many times where i promote my music or i post my music or i talk about tips that i've learned myself and those are great i feel great about it but then there's other times where you gotta make stuff that brings you money too right and sometimes it can be a little bit frustrating. I think that's the main point of the book and what got me into thinking. It's creating your own rules. It's creating the platform that you enjoy right it's creating things that you enjoy for other people to enjoy finding creative ways which may mean that you might take more time to do something maybe you don't have to post every day maybe you can post once a week 
but you're doing the thing you love. It is fulfilling. You feel better about yourself. You're not chasing money and all these trends. It's just a healthier way to live, in my opinion. If you are in a journey or you're starting a journey of content creation, if you're posting daily or how often you post, take time to think about what it's going to be in five years. Are you going to enjoy doing it? Are you going to have time with other things that come up with those five years within your life? So is this video to say that that's it? I'm not working with other companies and I am just focusing on my craft. No, because there's a lot of companies that I do enjoy working with whether it's gear that helps me out with my music creation, whether it's money that helps me financially, I am developing as a business and being a music producer and posting every day as a side, I became a content creator. I learned how to edit. I'm able to put out content all the time for companies that are looking for content. So it's a matter of choosing what gives you pleasure. So I'm not trying to put you down or anything like that. I definitely want to keep this on a positive note, but it's just something to consider uh, where are you going going with this channel, ask yourself those questions. Is it going to fulfill me? Am I going to be happy doing this 10 times? Am I going to be happy doing this 20 times? Ask those questions and frame your mind in the way that will benefit you in the long term. Is it you? Do you really want to be this person who creates this video for this amount of time? Thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, this is my new video, so I'm not professional. I don't know where this channel is going to go, to be honest. This is my clean slate. And after reading this book, I, I don't know if I would have started a video like this. This channel is going to be about stuff that I want to talk about, whether it's teaching something, whether it's something I find in the internet that has to do with music. It's all going to be authentic to what I want. So if you want to stick around, if you want to get to know me, if you want to chat, drop comments, let's talk. Let me know what you want to see from this channel. And if it serves me, I will make a video for it. Peace.